Hey, we're playing the Downward Spiral Horus Station. This is one of those ones that was on my to-do list that I meant to do like a series on, and now it's been so long that it's just the infinite to-do list that always grows. So let's let's just let's get a, let's give it a one-off episode so it actually gets covered at some point. Uh, let's get in there. Choose Horus Station experience. Engage. Choose engage to experience hor Horus Station with all hostile threats. Explore without. Now engage. Mild damage, standard damage. <laughs> you, you can choose mild, standard, and oppressive. Uh, let's do solo for now. I don't want to drop out of somebody else's session midway through and abandon them to their to whatever threats there apparently are. Ooh, look at that mountain. I'm not sure what's happening with my hands right now. Am I floating? Oh. I think I'm floating through the air. That's really pretty over there. this game's going for a big audio visual experience because it is a uh, VR compatible which may have even been the main plan plenty of games where there's always a question like was it was it primarily designed for one or the other there's always a question are his hands gonna keep doing that push and hold left stick to grab surfaces release left click to push off and float What? I don't understand this control scheme. There we go. I think... I think my source of confusion is actually that there's no... I don't think you press a direction on the joystick necessarily. I think you just press left stick, period. Hmm. So the idea is that gravity is not our friend right now, so we need to manually get around the station. And away we go. Hey. One of those circular stations. Like in Moon. I wonder if the lack of direct uh, locomotion is intended to try to deal with the motion sickness issue on VR games. Like, oh, if we make a game where you don't walk, then maybe it circumvents the, the usual issue people have. Is this meant to be a gun? Or, yeah, I think it's just a gun. Oh. Let's get over there. You can pop it in and out of your inventory, or you can hold it down to get a hold of this. Oh, the game does not pause in that situation. Oh, it's a- oh, it's a grappling hook. Oh, I missed that. Okay. I wasn't noticing that it was shooting a- something like this. Bring it to me. There we go. Uh oh. There we go. Yeah, that makes this a little bit easier. I can bring these objects to me. Oh. Da 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 boom. Get it in there. Yeah, this is instantly preferable to the like touching things with my hands mechanic of getting around. Cause I can let I can let go whenever I want. So I need to find another one. And I don't think you have one in you. 
Oh, there's a dispenser. Boop, boop. A dispenser. For when you need infinite batteries. How's it going? Oh. What's going on there? Do I want to go in that? I don't, I don't think so. I think this, this door probably just works now. Probably what's going on. Boop, boop. Oh, there it goes. It had to load. There was a chug. Dude, this thing has reach. Bro, <laughs> it's moving at the same speed as me. That's not how physics works, I'm pretty sure. I think that if I throw an object when I'm moving, it should go faster than I am. Maintenance system. Open up. Yeah, there's a little, oh, yep, there's a little chug. You can tell the game's kind of loading the next room whenever I to open a door. It takes a little bit, apparently. Are those threats? Get him! Get him in the head! Are you friendly? Oh, they're not friendly! Okay. What just happened? Did I just die? What? Did they capture me? Was that a bad time? I think I found my gun. Come back here. You can hold on to it and shoot it. That's funny. I think we have infinite ammo on these weapon on this weapon. I don't think we have to worry about like reloading. Oh yeah. No, it reloads. I thought it was maybe Mass Effect where it cools down and you're just overheating if you shoot too fast, but no, there's a, there's a little ammo indicator on the back. Does re holstering reload? It does not. Hmm. Oh, X is reloaded. There we go. I don't know why I didn't try that immediately. Does this door open when I approach it, or something? Uh... Where am I supposed to go? Oh, the station's messed up out there. They're having a bad time. There's engineering. Am I supposed to shoot this? Oh, there it goes. I don't know why I couldn't do that. I kept trying to open the door and it didn't seem to be working. Huh. I'm not sure what happened. There we go. We need to take back the station. It's always interesting when there's a game where the the core mechanic is basically to pursue a completely different style of moving. And that different mov movement style is kind of the core gameplay mechanic. Wow. Inevitable, I guess, huh? <laughs> I 
How dare you bring that song into this. Get out of here. I need to aim my gun. Just so. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this. No! He won't raise his arm just enough. Aw. Oh. I wanted to see if I could do it. I figured I could probably get the, uh... It looked like it was probably just another music player, actually. Or maybe an audio log. But I just saw it way out there. I'm like, I can grapple it. I can bring it to me. But while I could get the reticle on it, I couldn't get my gun to actually line up. What is going to happen in here? Oh, look at this. Is this like the hub of the game? A3. Uh oh. Ah, reload faster. I'm gonna die. Oh. Oh, does it just fade to black whenever you die? Huh. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say this game is better in VR. I don't think that this is, I don't think that my current way of playing it is the best approach. Just cause the, uh, the combat's pretty basic. But the novelty of, like, actually physically pointing your your hands to do all this is probably way more novel. And seeing this, like, this environment and seeing it in 3D. I get a Space Odyssey feel from it. Like, the idea that it's all, like, there's a certain visual uh, splendor to it all intended. We doing this? The lights show through the walls, don't they? Are we not doing this? I'm noticing I have two different reticles. And normally... Normally that's not so important. A lot of video games kind of fudge the numbers a bit when it comes to aiming. And you can often aim and hit something even though technically the gun model on the screen is kind of not going to quite line up with that. And that's pretty normal, in part because the gun models that you're, are on your attached to your characters usually are not physically present in the environment. Usually, it's like a projection over the screen. And if you try to compare, if you play, you play co-op games, oftentimes if you compare your gun model and how it's positioned with how, what it looks like on somebody else's screen, there's often a, a discrepancy because what looks good in the environment and what looks good on the screen is often two different things. But I'm guessing that my hands are supposed to be two separate projected, uh, two separate things you can see. Not only can you see them when you're playing multiplayer, but you could probably see them moving independently, which is why each of them has their own reticle. Because you can see that little dot. That little dot turns red if I point at something far enough away, which I don't think anything in this room is. And that's, that's whether or not my grapple can reach that far. But then I have the aimer, which is my gun. And so if you're playing VR and these are your two hands, then the novelty of being able to aim in different angles would be a key thing. Specifically that moment earlier where I saw through a slit of a, a broken door, I could have like aimed my, I could have raised and lowered my hand and aimed in a specific direction to like grapple whatever I wanted and stuff like that. But that's kind of lost when you're playing the flat screen version of it. Where you're, if you're not in VR and not using the motion controls. Collectibles. One collectible discovered. Okay. Uh, 
Is there a menu of the collectibles? Where's my menu of collectibles? Ow, shit, sorry. I was I was trying to move and I basically fell. Genius. Alright. Y, B, left bumper, right bumper, right, that's the these guys. The triggers are shooting. Ah. I didn't know about that. If I click left stick, it shows me the current objective. I guess it's me trying to use the radio, hoping I can contact with someone, but nobody's there to get, get, get be contacted, I think. That looks like a, a VR controller. <laughs> Oops, no, not, not that. I'm trying to go. There we go. Manual door ac access is denied. And on that level, I think, like, let's see. As far as I can tell, basically the only control is, pre is to press the left stick forward. And that makes me move forward in the direction I'm facing. Which is probably another example of the idea that, like, it's probably best in VR because then you're moving your hands around physically in the environment and, like, pushing off of stuff as opposed to what I'm doing, which is pressing left stick and then aiming in a direction. Let's see. Yeah, in this version of the game, it's definitely much, uh, much more enjoyable to use the grappling hook. So there's an access ladder, but it looks like it just goes between these two floors, which I already have access to, so no need. Maybe this will give me door access. Yeah, I bet I bet it, I almost said zombies. I bet a bunch of enemies are gonna come pouring out now. Ooh, all these doors open. Definitely seems to be an exploration-based game. Or the core gameplay loop is kind of you poking around these environments and seeing what you can find until you find the objectives and so on, and maybe some secrets along the way. What is this? Uh, I bet I can take that and put that in there. No, in there. There we go. Goliath protocol enabled. What does that mean? Reconnect engineering hub. Uh. Boop. Uh. The computer's mad at me. The computer got mad at me. That's not a nice thing to do. Is that a bad guy? What's that? Is that a tool I can use? Ooh, is that a tool I can use? I think it's just a different gun. It's a bolt thrower. Yeah, they don't pose a ton of threat. My aiming's not great because I chose to use a controller for some reason. I'm not really sure why I did that, but I'm, I'm committed now. But, uh... Aside from the misses I'm doing, they don't usually pose much threat. Probably the most dangerous thing to do is to end up in a giant room like earlier where they can attack from like every direction simultaneously. In a hallway, they're not going to be able to do much to me. Whereas in a smaller, in a larger room, they can confuse me and surround me. Maybe. Goliath protocol enabled. So I gotta reconnect the engineering hub. Kind of wandering, admittedly. I'll probably find it. Or not. <laughs> A5. Have I opened up another... Oh! It's 
a bright explosion. There we go. This gun actually might be weaker than the old one. Engineering hub, go! I think they're, they're gonna keep coming. That's kind of thrilling. Grapple hooking through a a no a no gravity sci-fi room while a bunch of drones are flying at you and you're aim you're you're grappling in one direction while shooting in another direction. The explosive. Oh hey. Die basketball. Basketball that's immune to my bolts. Not even not being destroyed by them, but not even being physically moved by them. Kah. Yeah, if using it just throws it, that means it's not a useful item. Unless you can figure out why it's useful. Oh. There's a basketball ho hoop. Now white people can finally jump! Eh. Tool, this is a tool assisted, assisted speed, run, speed run of basketball hooping. Bah! Shit. This is hard. I'm gonna spend the next entire rest of the video doing this. Ah, come here. I, I can dunk, damn it. <laughs> I think I'm in the way now. This is the nerdiest game, thing of, uh, of basketball period ever. Yeah, blum 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 blum. Well, this is impossible. Blum 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 blum. Why won't it go in? Wait, is this a is this basket hoop actually basket shaped and has a bottom in the hit in the hit? Can you not do? <laughs> Does it not have a hollow bottom in the hitbox? This game's canceled. I quit. Link in the description if you want to check this game out. Thanks to the developers for sending me a preview code so I could check out their game. That's a corpse. Get out of here. Oh, he's dead. Thanks for watching like always, guys. And I'll see you next time. There was an S. There was a capital S in the middle of that word. There's typos. Oh no. This game's like a year old. It should probably have- they probably should have found those by now. You- uh, us, E. Airlock to evacuate.